Welcome to Brick Trains and I'm Joey and today I have the 726 Western Train. This is another one of the sets from the Cowboy or the, as I call them, the Bowlegged Cowboys, but this is not the Bowlegged Cowboy. Um, the Bowlegged Cowboy was in set 617 and he was riding a horse. So we have one riding a horse in here, but he don't have no legs. <laughs> I don't know where his legs are. So this set is part of the trains theme. Yes, trains was a theme. Uh, came out in 1976, so that tells you in 1976, trains was a theme. It's real, people. Get over it. At any rate, this is uh, a four and a half volt to 12 volt time frame train. It is uh, powered by the blue rail. So we have the, the, the push train blue rail track with the white ties. And then they had this electric... Uh, center rail that was used to pick up the electricity. Now this particular set, I want to look at this, this particular set, I believe, and oh, by the way, here's my instructions for the cars. <laughs> my instructions are very, very poor shape. Very, very poor shape. In fact, I don't know if we can get those in on the, on the little GoPro there. See them there on a big one. Um, so here's the thing. Right now, there's like three of these sets on BrickLink. They, they go for about $100 to $200. I don't believe any one of the three have the instructions or the box. I know none of them have the box, and I don't think any of them have the instructions. The box, there are two of them for sale. One's for like $50 something dollars, and the other's for like $120, and no instructions. So. As bad as shape or my instructions, I am very, very happy to have them. Very happy to have them. I'm trying not mess them up any more than they are. We'll lay them back down. Uh, I have the box. The box came. So yes, the box came with the track. Now, I think it only came with a circle of track. Jabo, Brigzar, here's a card for him, says that it came with an oval of track. Well, I have plenty of that track. I have, uh, actually, when I bought this set, it not only did it come with almost two circles of track, uh, it also came with a bunch of straight and the four and a half volt, 12 volt crossover piece, right? To make a circle eight. So I think people have added to this set. Now, whether or not it came with the oval or didn't come with the, with straight tracks or not, I'm not sure. The inventories don't show that they do, but um, I'm not, I'm not doubting that they didn't come with it. Now here, I've just got a circle set up because for my little bitty tiny table, that's all the bigger train set I can have. Uh, set up. So I have the box. The, uh, I don't know if we're getting it in there on the GoPro or not. Might have to move back, back or forward. I don't know. Uh, it's got pictures of the trains on the back. Um, it's got a nice big picture of it on the front. And the inside we have, again, we have the pictures of the trains and the little boy playing. And then it has the styrofoam. And this train could sort of be put away by it without disassembling it. Sort of the bases for the cars could be put back in here. And then the, the locomotive could pretty much be put back in here. And this was a spot for your track. Uh, so yeah, that's the box. Very, very, very thankful to have the box. I just now noticed that my smokestacks on in the wrong spot. We did get two, two mini figs, little statue guys. And they are pictured in the car. So kind of wonder if the car, if they're guarding it, if they're sheriffs, or, if they're, I don't know what they are. We have this horse, which if you've been following this series, this is a little bit different build for the horse. And here's the interesting thing. If you look really closely, hopefully that's not getting out of focus. The horse's nose is the bottom of a minifigure statue. 
and so is his feet. So at this point they were using minifig feet for the horse's feet and horse's nose. I don't know. The instructions in the box and everybody else always shows the cowboy and horse riding right there. Pretty precarious. I mean, I know it was the old west and everything's pretty uh, pretty crazy. So let's look at the car real quick. We'll get kind of close up of it. It's got these old style doors, which that one there is not wanting to close. So I don't know what's in the way. Looks like there's a brick down in there or something. Uh, this one has the express stickers. Hopefully I'm not getting too close. It's the bad part about me walking around to the side. I get too close and it gets out of focus. Uh, I have the express stickers. These are original stickers. Uh, it's got the base with the red and blue magnets. So these are polarized. So opposites, opposites attract here. You had uh, red to blue and blue to red. Uh, the gondola was with the horse. The same thing with the, I don't know, I'm calling this a gondola. I don't know if it's really a gondola or not. It's, I mean, I would call it a gondola. Uh, it's not the tender. This, this era of train would have had a tender. This was not a tank car. So again, with the red and blue magnets, so they're polarized. So. Again, <laughs> matching repel and opposites attract. And then the engine. This is a very cool little engine. So, oh, we got a yellow coming off the front. It's got three headlights. These are yellow, old style yellow. These are a little one by one by one. This would have been a two by two by one. We've got a balloon stack, so we had a uh, spark arrestor on top. Nice little uh, sand dome. And again, more of these one by one yellow windows. Hope I'm getting those in there. And then we have the one by two. Yeah, yellow windows. None of these are super rare, but they're not super common either. So a little tricky to get. We have the uh, side rails, the uh, drive, drive, drive rods for the train. Um, it does have rubber tires, and these are pretty rough shape. And then it has the beveled, uh, beveled wheels <laughs> for the for the rubber tire, so they fit on there. And then these are the electric pickups, because this does have the four and a half volt motor in it, or is it a twelve volt motor? This is twelve volt. Twelve volt has the yellow motor in it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars to get it. It came with two and a half figs. <laughs> There's my two figs. Oh, can I get it back on the track from way over here? I'm reaching. Oh no. So two and a half figs came with two cars. Circle track, if not an oval of track. Very hard to find. 291 pieces total. Um, maybe. <laughs> Um, yeah, set 726, the Western train, 1976, from a time when trains was a theme. Thanks for watching. Wait, did you think there was going to be a build montage? No build montage, but we are running this thing. So let's get some stuff out of here. Get the box the instructions and for everybody else that took off and didn't stay they don't get to see it run sucks to be them you should watch to the end <laughs> I almost rhymed okay so this train did not come with and man look at all the dirty stuff on the table from the styrofoam this train did not which camera do I want to look at this train did not come with a transformer and all the power pickup stuff. It did come up with the center rails, um, but it did not come with the other stuff. So I'm cheating. I'm using an old style or the nine volt transformer to, to power this. And here we go. It's going to be a little creaky. It's going to be a little crunchy, but it is going to run. Oh, 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 dirty track. 
There we go. Keep going, buddy. The more he runs, the better you'll get. It's not bad. A couple loops all by itself. Make another one all by yourself. You did it? Yes. All right, let's see if we can get that horse on there now. The horse, of course. Huh, almost stopped for me. So, you've made it to the end of the line, which means it's comment contest time. So you're paying close attention? I had two of the stickers, but I was missing the other two. Which two stickers was I missing? First correct answer in the comments, and I'll pin you to the top.